the Winter Sniper. <laughs> I thought in this video today that I'd just play as a sniper <laughs> in the winter. It, it's that simple. <laughs> no, I watched the Captain America film called The Winter Soldier earlier this week, and uh, I like the theme song so much, and that's the one you've just listened to, although it's, it's slightly different. It, it just gave me a huge urge to go back and play Final Stand, because when I thought about it, I was like, what winter maps are there in Battlefield 4? And I couldn't think of any, and I was like, oh, the whole of the Final Stand DLC is like snow maps. So I came back and played some Final Stand, which for me is without a doubt the best DLC that came out for Battlefield 4 because it's got like motherfucking rail guns in it, massive snowy maps, which was always one of my favorite things from Bad Company 2, and it has a 2142 theme, which... I don't think many people expected, to be quite honest. But I tried to sort of steer clear of all that futuristic mumbo-jumbo and just stuck with my basic sniper rifle, which is my new wife. Uh, she's called uh, M98B. <laughs> uh, an 8x scope and a suppressor. Well, sometimes a suppressor. Not all the time, because... Don't you think it would be really awesome, like, in the next Battlefield game, that you had the option to remove the suppressor during gameplay? Not like in the loadout menu when you died or anything like that, but actually in the game. A bit like the magnifier, where you can flick it on and off if you want it to be magnified. I think you can attach it to assault rifles and carbines and things like that. But you can actually choose whether you want the magnifier to be up and magnify your zoom, or down and just have your standard red dot sight. I think that would be, like, really cool. It gives, like, some more diversity, I suppose, and it's not like it can't be achieved in real life. I'm sure you can unscrew the suppressor from a weapon whilst you're in the middle of a battle, but I think that would be something really cool for a future Battlefield game. And that's something that I really wanted to talk about today, because I don't know if you heard recently, but there was, like, this leak, which turned out to be a fake anyway, of Battlefield 2143. Now, at the time when it was first leaked, a lot of people were quite excited. It did look very genuine, but it has now been confirmed as a fake. But what I really wanted to talk about was sort of the reaction that that got, because I, for one, didn't expect... Well, I didn't expect 2143 to come out as a leak anyway, but I didn't expect people to have the reaction that they had towards that game. Given that the majority of FPS games right now are pushing this futuristic theme, which started with Titanfall and then moved on to Call of Duty with Advanced Warfare and now Black Ops 3, I was kind of surprised to see so many people supporting the idea that Battlefield could have been going in the same direction. From what I've been seeing on Twitter and YouTube comments, the general feeling was that people wanted to see the return of a World War II era game, like a follow-on from 1942 or, or 1943. Now both of these routes for the future of the franchise I think would be supported as they ultimately derive from the military background which is what we've become accustomed to, unlike Hardline which I think is probably the main reason why that game might have fallen out of favour. When you say the word Battlefield, what do you actually think of? For me, I think of like these massive open scale battles, huge amounts of warfare like storming a beach or, or pushing across a desert in an army of tanks. You get that feel that Battlefield would work in a futuristic setting and in a World War II setting and past as has been proven both times before. Which is why I think probably both directions could be perfectly valid for the future of the franchise. It's already been confirmed that the next instalment will be military focused, which a lot of people rejoiced about when it was announced, but it's still very unclear sort of where we're going to be visiting in the next game. If I'm totally honest, <laughs> I don't really give two hoots about where we're going to go in the next Battlefield game, as long as it sticks to that military theme. But if I did have to pick, I'd probably say going back to a Cold War era would be something that I would really appreciate. Not too far back, maybe to sort of like the mid-1980s, towards the end of the Cold War, but maybe they could turn it a little bit fictional. So rather than it just being like a, an absolute massive stalemate, maybe it could break down a little bit. Fighting could start out in small areas, and then it breaks out into all-out massive warfare, essentially World War III. 
You can have battlegrounds in the US and Russia and in places in between as, as each nation tries to occupy as much land as they can to ultimately make themselves more powerful and overthrow the other. And it's not so far back in time either that we'd end up lacking in areas like weapons and vehicles and attachments and things like that, which is something I think many players expect from a Battlefield game nowadays. Battlefield 4, as you can see, offers so many weapons and attachments, it's just untrue. That's what I'd like to see, a Cold War era Battlefield game, maybe with a fleshed out campaign as well and not just as like a, a byproduct. I really like the way that Hardline tried to push the campaign as much as it possibly could. Maybe they could get some good writers in and write a good Cold War era story that would be about sort of 8 to 10 hours worth of campaign. I think that would be quite cool. But if that doesn't happen then they could always just give us Bad Company 3 and <laughs> I think everyone would be happy with that. But what do you think? Where would you like to see Battlefield go next? You'll have to tell me in the comments. I, I do read all of them and I know that a lot of people will have opinions on this. So if you do have something that's rather strong or just like an inkling of what you'd like to expect, then do leave a comment today because I'd, I'd like to sort of get a feeling on what people would like to see in the future. But thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like and a comment. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to check out g2a.com slash r slash westy and grab yourself a great deal on PC games. The link's in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.